Hey guys, I'm going to do a reveal video of my Tamiya 172nd scale Vought F4U1A Corsair. And um, let me move the camera down, take a look at the finished product. I decided to go with the Jolly Rogers scheme for Ivor Kepford's plane based on the Solomon Islands and as you can see he was a, a famous Navy ace with all the you can see all the kill marks and if you can get in close enough to see his name on the side and of course it was went together really well I only needed to do a little bit of filler uh, right here there was just a little bitty gap right there where the cowling fits on to the fuselage um, also this wing root <clears throat> had a little bit of uh, had a little gap in there so I just ran uh, some perfect plastic putty went over it with a q-tip and it's gone and of course primer takes care of it okay so we can take a look at the aircraft I'm really pleased the way it turned out. I, this is one of my favorite planes, uh, the Corsair. It's a pretty iconic airplane from World War II. And okay, so we get a look at the whole thing there. And the paints I used for the kit uh, on the bottom, I used. Uh, the model air insignia white and, and for the um, the light blue you, it's a three since it's a three color scheme you got sea blue intermediate blue and uh, insignia white and for the blues um, for the I used model air intermediate blue uh, for the mid mid range blue and then for the top of the fuselage model air USN C blue and they sprayed really nice I haven't used these very much and, uh, and so I really liked them you just put them in the airbrush and they're ready to go I did um, I did do a little chipping I just took a sponge with some um, Citadel silver paint and just dabbed it on. <clears throat> I didn't want to go too heavy on it, but it may have. Okay, and just kind of do a little chipping along the wings and a little bit of on the uh, propeller edges and right here on the engine pieces or in the front of the engine cowling. The exhaust stains, I used uh, kind of a mixture of black and reddish pastel chalks and just you just brush it on. And it looks really nice. I, it's hard to tell, but I did put a little uh, gun smoke on the wings as well. Again, that's pastel chalk. Just take it with a little um, paintbrush and just make little streaks. I like using uh, pastel chalks for that sort of thing. And I'll show you. Um, you, can, you can pick up a set of uh, blacks and grays. You also have I picked up a set of these. I've had these for a while and they last forever, of course. You just scrape the colors that you want. They're also nice. Um, I did a little bit of... Uh, to give it kind of a dusty, faded look, I took a little bit of take a little bit of chalk and just kind of rub it in and blow the excess off. When I painted, I also went in and <clears throat> I lightened uh, the U.S. Navy blue. I added a little bit of white to it at point at places and where I just did a little bit of fading on the fuselage and wings. Okay. 
I then put a wash, I made a wash of uh, uh, oil paints, and primarily primarily use these Winton colors and just mix them up. You can make various shades of uh, grime and just, of course, just put it on, let it dry, wipe it off. And otherwise, it was a really fun kit to build and I highly recommend it. Decals went on great. Um, they set in, they settled down pretty good. I uh, just did one coat of uh, Microsol and uh, I, I was pretty happy with them. Okay. The only one I'm disappointed with is this one. I'm not sure what happened. Um, this decal right here, let me get my pointer there. It wasn't like that after I did the the weathering, and so I'm not sure if, um, or excuse me, it wasn't like that before I did the weathering. So I'm not sure if the mineral spirits or something did something that decal. But I I had sealed everything in with a gloss coat before I applied the my wash, and I'm not quite sure what happened there. It looks like it, it cracked up. I have pictures that I took of the plane before. I applied the the oil wash with the mineral spirits and it wasn't like that and so I'm not sure what exactly happened um, I would like to experiment with uh, uh, using watercolors as a wash and <clears throat> I've had these my kids had them and they they like to paint but I'm gonna give these a try sometime and just see how they do um, so if anybody is a use watercolors, you know they're pretty thick. You just obviously just mix them with water and see how they work as a as a uh, as a wash. But I might give those a try. I have a couple of old planes I use to practice or experiment with, so I'll give those a shot and see what what happens. <clears throat> that way you have to avoid that way you can avoid all the mineral spirits and that sort of thing. Okay, so I'll put up a few slides and. Um, I appreciate you watching and you know keep keep modeling and uh, again the propeller works it's a little tight so you can't really <clears throat> can't blow on it to get a to get the effect but you can see down inside the engine okay. <clears throat> I want to point this out to you one of the things I I didn't ever realize that Corsairs had I had this little window that the pilot can see down um, you know, I'm sure it probably got covered a lot and dusty, but uh, I, I've never seen that before. So, um, and I don't have any. I don't have any good walk around books for the Corsair to see that. Oh, I would point out too on this kit. Um, the uh, exhaust uh, manifolds are are they're molded in. But I did take a little pin vise and, and, and drill them, and so that would give a little bit more realistic effect. As you can see down in those, you can see into the pipe. So um, it took about 30 seconds to drill those, drill holes in those. And, uh, okay. But there she is. And that's Ira Kepler's. Corsair from the Jolly Roger Squadron. Alright, thanks guys. Take care. Happy modeling. Bye-bye.